A boy is in search of a kidney transplant. He's got a rare condition called posterior urethral valves. It's super rare. The abnormality affects only male infants and occurs in about one in 8,000 births. Our Brianne Bazette sat down with a family from St. James Parish who is holding on to hope for better days ahead. Daniel Hartman is like most 10 year old boys. He loves to play basketball and spend time with his sisters. When you think about having your first baby, you're just like, okay, this is going to be fun. This is going to be exciting, but it, it wasn't like that for me. A joyous occasion that suddenly took a turn for the worse. It was scary. It was real scary. Um, I don't know. It was a lot to deal with. I couldn't cope, right? I had a lot of emotions. I don't know, it was a really, really dark time in my life. At just two weeks old, doctors diagnosed Daniel with posterior urethral valve. He had a blockage in the bladder while he was still inside the womb, and it's not something that's detected unless they're looking for it. So when he was born the first week and a half, two weeks or so, every time he tried to urine, it, it, it a little bit came out, the rest was back flowing into the kidneys. Daniel has spent most of his life in and out of surgeries, between changing tubes in his body, two scars aligning his stomach. Daniel calls yeah. these his battle From scars. From this, he had this changed like three times. You know, we always knew that at some point in time in his life, he was gonna have to have a kidney transplant. But I guess like the reality of that didn't set in until the time came. Daniel's dad, you know Trenton, I mean? was a kidney transplant it, match it, it, for it his hard. son. However, a few days after the transplant, doctors found a blood clot in the kidney. Trenton's kidney was too big for Daniel, and ultimately doctors had to take the kidney out. In order to get a new transplant, Daniel will have to isolate himself from the world, making sure he does not get sick before his next surgery. It's hard to kind of limit a child to so much like that, you know what I mean? Daniel's parents say he will not be able to go to school, play basketball competitively, and hang out with his siblings as much to protect himself from getting sick. I'm being away from people that are sick, and I'm not getting sick, so I'm taking care of myself. And while I'm taking care of myself, I'm protecting the kidney, and so I don't get sick. If I get sick, I have an infection, then I end up in the hospital, and that's going to be a complete disaster for transplant. For the next six months, Daniel and his family will wait, hoping and praying that the next round of surgery will be successful and give Daniel a normal life. Brianne Bazette, WAFB, 9 News. What a strong family.